I built a couple of uh, classes here, which um, uh, I suppose like a like a, a, a simple bank account uh, setup. I've got a, a class here called Password uh, Panel that just basically extends J Panel. It'll make a new J Panel for me, and it's got a couple of fields there: a button and a password field. And then there is uh, a little constructor here, which basically uh, sticks these things onto uh, onto the panel. And uh, bank interface, similar sort of idea. I've got a button, a deposit field, and I've got a balance. Uh, I've just pulled these integers out. I could have done this within the the. I could have manipulated the text fields. I wanted to I, I pulled them out for the time being and if I develop this application I may decide to move those balance statements somewhere else so I'm going to join uh, these bank uh, these um, uh, bank accounts together but at the moment I'll just leave them where they are and then the constructor basically uh, makes a, a, a few items here it makes a, a button a deposit a field and a um, label with the balance on it um, and then I have uh, a simple bit of layout here I'm using a border layout uh, for the, the the whole of the panel and then within that I'm sticking a little panel so I've got a top uh, bar here where I have the button and deposit and then uh, I've got basically I add that to the north of the border layer of of, uh, of this panel here J panel and then in the center I add the uh, the balance so if I, if I run this you'll see what uh, if it what it actually looks like uh, as a couple of screens. Uh, the password I think I've just set to something simple like uh, whatever set the password has. Can't remember, let's have a look. Whatever set the password has. I've set the password as. Uh, yep, okay. So let's go back and have a look at this uh, this panel. So if I put the password in first, yeah, I put no logic in that um, that does something if I put the wrong password in, but I put the password in. See, it's now switched screens, and I've now got the bank balance, uh, bank balance uh, screen, so I can now add various amounts, um, so forth, and I could put in negative amounts as well. And uh, it'll work all that out for me, uh, and that's basically it. That's as far as I've gone so far. If I talk you through, if I cl close this down and talk you through the uh, the main bit, I think you're all right with the the password panel and the bank interface panel. Let me talk you through the uh, the main panel here. Um, uh, first of all, uh, what I've got is I've got uh, I create um, the master collection of panels, um, and uh, this is using card layout. You can Google this, but it's a fairly simple idea. It's a layout which just assembles all panels added to it as a pack of cards, and you can switch the cards on and off depending on uh, what you want to be visible on screen. So I've got a master collection of panels, which is just basically a J panel with a layout of uh, a card layout, and then I've got uh, two more panels here: password panel and bank interface panel which is uh, one each of those uh, and uh, then the main basically just says create an object and go and uh, the go um, method is basically constructs the, the J frame of the whole application for me uh, and then it constructs the password panel and it, I'm going to show you this add action listener thing in a second it can creates a bank interface panel and adds an action listener and then what it does is adds to the master collection of panels uh, which is this um, uh, this uh, card uh, this card layout panel here it then adds the two cards the two panels basically um, and then adds the whole master collection of panels uh, to uh, the J frame which is here uh, and then validates it to make sure everything's so uh, squidged in there correctly that's basically it that's what the uh, uh, go does if I just pause that there in case you want to pause the screen and copy it up and then if we have a look at here uh, what you can do is you can add subclasses these are classes he says class there that is a subclass that's inside uh, this class here so there are subclasses. That's basically how you can add uh, more than one action listener to uh, uh, to a class. And so I've got this class here called password listener. It implements an action listener, and um, what this basically does is uh, it produces a string here, and it gets from the password panel the text, the, the field called text. If I should show you, we have a a, a, um, a te password field called text. It grabs that uh, and it gets the password, and uh, basically. Uh, a string value of converts that that hashed password into a string it can read and it basically says if that password equals whatever the hard-coded password is let's switch the panels let's make the password panel uh, uh, invisible and the bank interface panel uh, visible that's all it uh, does else that's where you do bad things if uh, if people didn't know uh, what the password up was uh, and I add that uh, by just saying to the password panel which I created up here uh, to its button I add the action listener which is down here this new password listener uh, where is it there 
new password listener. That's how I do it. And the same idea for account listener. I've created a, an action listener called account listener, uh, and um, it basically this will take the, the the deposit which is on the bank interface panel, and it will turn it into uh, an integer. Uh, it'll actually grab that field, field deposit, and turn that into an integer, put it into deposit, and then balance, it basically adds whatever the uh, deposit was, and um, then it sets the uh, label balance to whatever this new balance is. That's basically it. And that action listener, again, I add the same way. If I go uh, back here, bank interface panel dot button, add action listener, I add a new account listener, which is a field, uh, sorry, the inner class that I created here. And that's basically how I do it. If I pause that there, you'll be able to see how the two classes work. And that is basically how the whole thing runs. And when I run it, I get this. I can type in yep for the password, and then it's going to switch that field off because the password is called yep. And it'll, uh, sorry, switch that panel off, and it'll switch another panel on, which is your bank account. That's basically how it works.